Hello, I'm Carol Prickett. I'm an OLLE volunteer and I'm here to help you navigate the new and improved OLLE online registration system for spring 2021. So let's get started. No tears, no hassles. Here we go. First, you're going to want to access the catalog to see which classes you'd like to take. If you go to ollie.ua.edu, click on the Register Today button. This will take you to the new menu. This menu tells you three different ways you can register for Ali classes. You can use the telephone, you can mail in a paper form, or because you're online, you can use the online system. This is an active link, and if you click it, you will go to a main menu. This is going to be a place you will come several times in this process. For right now, let's look for the OLLE catalog. There it is, the middle box on the bottom. Click on that box, and voila! Our cover is new, our President Philip Malone's picture is on it, and the information inside is new, and organized in a slightly better way for you to understand everything you need to know about being an OLLE member and participating in our classes. At the end of the catalog, you'll find frequently asked questions and some numbers you can call if you have any trouble. As you scroll through the catalog, read all the material and enjoy learning more about our OLLE program. But when you get to this page, you're knowing that you're about to find the list of classes from which you can choose. I've pulled out two different examples for you so that you can see what our classes look like. Much of this seems very familiar, but you will notice that I have circled the date on which each class begins. This is going to be very important in your no tears, no hassles registration. Also, please notice that some classes are designated as OLLE shares classes. These will be larger classes that will include people from the UA OLLE program, the UAH OLLE program, and the Auburn OLLE program. Now you're going to want to make your personal wish list. I write mine down and I'm listing the classes noting the beginning date as well as the Z course number. Here's my stress busting tip number one. Make sure you fine tune your wish list, all the classes that you write down, and order your choices by the beginning date, not the Z catalog number that you might have used in the past. This is an example. Notice that the dates are in chronological order, even though the Z numbers seem to be a bit more random than you might have expected. Now that you've made your choices, if you haven't yet signed up to become an OLLE member, you can go to this box and join OLLE. But if you joined in August 2020, your membership is still good and now you're going to be able to sign up for all the classes you would like to take for one course package fee. Here's my stress busting tip number two. If when you're clicking around, you happen to end up on this page, which is the College of Continuing Studies. Can you see my arrow here? And you see all of these pictures you do not want to look at this link to online courses. These are the courses that are offered by the College of Continuing Studies. Keep scrolling down that page though and you will find the link that will take you right back to OLLE. So if you get a little lost, keep breathing, find the OLLE link. Now we're ready to sign up for our classes because we've made our wish list and we've written everything down in the order of the beginning date. So we go to the link for OLLE courses. If you haven't yet signed in, be sure to sign in at the top of the page using the username and password that you set up in August 2020. Once you've signed in, you're ready to go. 
And now you're going to be scrolling down and finding the classes that you want. There will be a long list in the sequence of the beginning date for the classes. I've picked out two here to let you see what it will look like when you have correctly registered for these classes. Notice that there is a checkbox on the left. It says it's included in the course package that becomes a darker box. And over on the right is one item. Now, here's my third stress busting tip. If you try to select a class and the button won't click, there's no response. The system is telling you that there is a time conflict. It won't let you make this mistake. It won't let you sign up for two simultaneous classes. Some of our classes, particularly shared classes, may be running on a slightly different time frame than we're used to. So you'll notice that if this didn't click, I put little red, red X's over it, it might be because you didn't notice that even though these classes are both on same day, there is a time conflict. So you have to pick one. When you have finished signing up for everything, keep scrolling down, sign up for everything you want, and at the bottom of the page, with one click, you're going to add everything to your cart all at once. Now, you might have selected some field trips or other non-class events. You'll need to go back to your main menu and select field trips and socials and special events. Each of these will have an active link under the description and you simply click that link and it will be added to your cart. So now you click the checkout button and look at your cart, just like you would do if you were online shopping. Make sure that everything is there just the way you want it. I've got two classes in my cart right now. If I needed to add something, I would simply continue shopping. If I needed to take something out, I would click the little red button over to the right and then my cart would show that that was gone. And once everything is finished and just the way you want it to be, hit checkout, arrange payment, and you are registered. But before we leave this video, let me ask you to look at a few more ways you can be helpful and supportive in making our OLIVE program even better. Number one, be sure to tell your friends why OLIVE is special to you. You enjoy all the classes, you enjoy all the friends, you enjoy all the events that we have, all the special pop-ups. So be sure to tell them all the ways that OLIVE has meant a lot to you, especially during these times we've been at home. Invite them to join you for the things that are open to public. And the public offerings are on that front page. You do need a link though to be able to come to any of those events. A second way you can be very helpful to Ollie is to become an Ollie volunteer. Ollie runs on the engine of its volunteers and this is especially true while we're doing all our classes on Zoom. In the catalog, you'll find an entire page with suggested ways you can be a helpful OLLI volunteer. Something that will fit into your time that's available, something that will be within your comfort zone or stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone. You're welcome to try all new things with OLLI. And finally, if you can do so, please make a donation of any size. OLLI is committed to having 10% at least of its members make donations. So any size donation is helpful in reaching our goal. We have many programs to support people who cannot pay for the full tuition. We don't want to exclude anyone from our OLLI program. And there's a page in your catalog that tells you about the different programs and how to make your contribution. And on that main menu, you will see the link to giving back. And that's all there is to registering for Ollie for spring 2021. Stay healthy, enjoy Ollie in the comfort of your own home, 
until we can meet safely in person again.